that isn't the Honorable Miss Fisher. Who's your fella? I hope your intentions aren't honorable. I'm Detective Inspector Jack Robinson, Miss Lombard. We're here on official business. The next day. I'll let you deal with the bombshell while I keep my eye on the new events. You will regret that decision. <laughs> Inspector, fabulous shot of you and Miss Fisher in the globe today. Are you exclusively Franny's ball boy? Or do you spread yourself around? Only a glass. You gave Frederick Byrne a whole flask. I wouldn't have thought he was your type. You got that right. I prefer a man with a gun in his hand. Then why offer him your good whiskey? There's something between you, isn't there? Oh, honey, now you're just sounding jealous. I already told you, I like you better. Miss Lombard, perhaps you don't realize how precarious your alibi is. Mr. Lawson recalls things differently. What can I tell you? When a fellow's with me, he tends to get confused. Now, Jack, can I call you that? Why would I want to kill that dumb dame? I'm having too much fun throwing her off her game. With Frederick Burns' help. All right. I confess. So I've been paying Fred to rattle her chain. You know what they say. All's fair in love and tennis. Now, why don't I put on my bathing costume and you join me for a dip? Perhaps some other time. Oh, if you're going to disappoint me, Inspector. The least you can do is untie me. See? That wasn't so hard. Did I mention that Jack and me had a swell talk this afternoon? No, you didn't. He sure knows how to unhook a gal's dress. <laughs> Must be those strong, manly fingers of his. Well, it's so much better when he does it with his teeth. Whoever put that spider in your bedroom, they weren't trying to kill you. What are you talking about? I could have ended up like Belinda. No, you couldn't. It's a trapdoor spider, capable of giving a nasty bite, but not enough to kill. So it was more likely a practical joke. Well, I fail to see the humor. And the motive remains the same, to scare me off the case. And to frame Terence Lawson at the same time. Do you think you can get rid of that now? It's important evidence, Miss Fisher. So is this, but you're not seeing it until that disappears. Boy found brains he never knew he had. That wasn't so difficult now, was it? An endorsement contract. Potentially. An agreement with the Blue Spruce Tennis Shoe Company of Utah, owned and operated by the Zollinger family, a most Mormon-sounding name. Needless to say, she didn't mention any of this when I interviewed her earlier. Before or after you helped her out of her dress? Just be careful Frederick Byrne doesn't catch you at it. If you ever get tired of Miss Fisher and want to play ball with me, I'll give you the best game you've ever had. I think we both know that's a challenge. I won't be accepting. Goodbye, Miss Lombard. Return!